I got cut off on the last video, sorry about that, I'll try to remember what I was talking about. I do it all ad lib, so I'm sorry if it's not consistent. Okay, I think I was saying that we have the duality world, right? And we have good and bad, we have right and wrong. Now, we are spiritual beings in a physical body, our thought creates reality, and we are all connected. But this is not known to us. This has been... Um, over, this, over the many centuries, this has been deleted, shall we say, from our awareness to where we now live totally in the physical domain, which is the domain of this earth, which is controlled by a non-spiritual entity. Okay? It is a non-spiritual domain that we actually inhabit, even though we are spiritual beings. Now, by that, I mean this is why we have all the conflicts and all the confusion and all the chaos and the problems with people uh, and why we are disconnected, because we are unaware of this and we are, we are like a fish out of water, okay? Now, what I was saying in the last video was, and I'm trying to continue on, I'm sorry that it got cut off because then I'll lose my flow, but I was trying to trying to use examples of where, in this world, even when something is presented as good or bad, like I, I was talking about, like for instance, um, I think I was saying about how, you know, it's okay to be uh, of a different sexual denomination as opposed to like male and female, right? It's okay. But what I, what I was trying to say was that in this world, because we have this duality, I mean, even, even um, homosexual people, right, would be the first to agree with me in the sense that you couldn't have everyone on the planet being homosexual. You have to have a variety because if everyone was homosexual, then the human race would die out. So even they would agree with that because they like to adopt and have children too, but they can't have it two men and two women together cannot reproduce. That's These things are common sense, so it's not controversial. It's not talking about particular groups. I'm saying that on this planet we have to have a variety of people, and they, but we cannot have just one type because if we have just one type, then the human race um, would probably become extinct. And Well, they would, but of course we can genetically do things too. But as I have said before, and this is this is what I have said, is that that is okay also. Well, I'm not saying it is okay, but it in minute amounts, if it remains in very minute amounts, then it does not do any harm. But if that became like universal too, it would be bad because it would downgrade the human being. Like you'd still be able to produce children, but they would not be of the high quality, shall we say, because... We're spiritual beings, you see, and spiritual beings have to be reproduced naturally because if they are reproduced technically, um, they do lose some of their abilities. Now, they might, now, some people might say, oh, yes, we can genetically engineer intelligence and stuff. Of course you can. I'm not talking about intelligence. I'm talking about spirituality. And there is a difference because a spiritual being we are all spiritual beings. Our thought creates reality. We are all connected. Okay? So that is, think about that. What does that mean to you? If, if it's true, what does it mean? You know, think about that. Spiritual beings, their th very thought creates a physical reality and they are all connected. You'll have to think about that and you'll have to keep that in your basics. If you're going to listen to me at all or anyone else that's that talks like this, you'll have to go... It's almost like going back to the origins of mankind, you could say. And this is basically what it is. It's before... And I'm not going to be religious here because I am not, but... There is some truth to the history in a Bible and in different religions. This is the confusion of the world, is that there is truth 
even though it might not be a whole truth. And this is where you have to be very discerning. Now, this is something we've lost because we are not so spiritual. We have lost our discernment to be able to know what is the truth and what is not. And this is what I'm saying. If you become too technical, you lose that. And think of the great ability that you are losing. This is what I'm trying to say to you. So it's all very well to say, oh, tech has some things. And yes, it's okay to have test tube children, etc. But you will lose a lot. And eventually, over many periods of time, the human race could even die out. Now, that might sound far-fetched, but it is true. If you understand the very basics of it, you would know what I'm saying. Because a human being is a spiritual being in a physical body. Thought creates reality, all connected. See, once you lose that, you're losing what it is to be a human being. You, most of us have already lost our ability anyway. I know even I am right down the bottom. 